So, as I was watching The Batman the other night, uh, and if you want to check out my review of that, hit the link below to my Patreon. Um, you know, quick shout out. <laughs> so, uh, I was watching it, and I was kind of thinking to myself, and I sat on this a little longer, just kind of like, as this thought ran through my mind, and I was just like, you know... Three Jokers could have worked if it wasn't Three Jokers. And instead of Three Jokers, it was Three Riddlers. Three, why I think that is, is because Three Jokers sucked, first off. Uh, three Jokers just sucked. And uh, Joker uh, was the wrong guy to do this story. Now, that I, the more you thought about this, like, that's dumb. I like the, uh, you know, I like just that there's a villain out there who you don't know jack shit about his backstory or anything. But the thing is, is, like, the whole thing and how they set it up in, as I was rereading Three Jokers, I was kind of, like, thinking to myself, this feels more like it should have been a Riddler story. Like, it really does feel like it should have been a Riddler story. And, you know, as I was watching, and I'm, and keep in mind, guys, Riddler is not one of my favorite Batman villains. If I was to make a top ten Batman list, Riddler would not be at any point in there. Uh, not it's mostly because like I'm just not a, a riddler guy like I'm just not like a guy who's likes oh you know questions and whatnot you know I, I riddler never appealed to me and maybe it's because maybe there hasn't been a lot of good stories but it's not like I don't hate the character I do like it when he shows up he's a titular Batman villain I like when he shows up I get excited when I see like riddler just come on in and just like you know I'm riddler here I am Riddles, motherfucker, riddles. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I I I like Riddler, but like, there's never been a lot of good stories with him, and that's kind of the case of why people just don't like Riddler to begin with. Like, there's just not a lot of good stories with him because you have to like really have to be a really smart writer, and I'm not trying to discredit anyone over at DC Comics for like saying you have to be a smart writer to write Riddler. You can be a the problem is, is like you need to be, like, really good at dealing with like the meticulousness of Riddler. Because here's the problem: is that with most Batman villains, you can be, like, you can have Batman go, "Oh, I solved it five minutes ago," or "I solved it three minutes ago." And but with Riddler, you have to like the whole point is that Batman has to like work his brain to figure out what Riddler's doing. And most of the time, it's like Riddler gets turned down to a joke because most people are like I want to write the Riddler but I don't want to do the whole like grand riddle scheme because I suck at riddles so do you go <laughs> like here's Riddler being dumb or just Joker light or yeah diet Joker so yeah now getting back to what my point was is that throughout the movie I was thinking you know Riddler could be interesting if there were three Riddlers because, like, when it comes down to it, the Riddler himself has to be a question. Like, I'd love to have a comic where, like, Batman finds out that Edward Nigma's never was never his real name. Because, like, even Ed, like Edward would be like, "Dude, Enigma, I'm literally this whole time I've been telling you I'm like I'm the Riddle. I'm the ultimate Riddle. I Enigma, who in their right name mind is named Edward Nigma in these days?" Enigma, dumbass. Like, I'm an enigma. Just fig figure it out, man. So that's why I, I think that would be kind of fun is really play with that, of having Edward Nigma. Like, his whole life has been a riddle. Like, his whole life has been, like, a riddle that's been staring in Batman's face, and that's, like, one of the one things that Batman has never been able to solve. Because, like... At no, like, Riddler's always been, like, throwing out crimes and riddles and, and, like, all these schemes. But the whole time, like, I would have it, like, every time Batman faced Riddler and every time he beat Riddler, Riddler would have, like, in the back of his head, you don't know my ultimate riddle. You don't, you still don't know, Batman. You still, you still don't get it. So, yeah. This would also be really fun to have, like, how you explain, like, this would make more sense than doing three Jokers in that this makes sense as to why there's three, there's so many different interpretations of Riddler. Like, the reason why you could do three Riddlers is have one, one Riddler be like your, uh, Riddler one would basically be like the, uh, the, the dapper, like, I got the question cane, I got the hat, the bowler hat, I look fly in my, in my, uh, you know, my, ja my, uh, all green attire. 
Like, you could call it, like, that's Riddler 1. Riddler 2 would be your spandex wearing, you know, I've made these super elaborate, like, schemes and, and uh, you know, uh, machinations and whatnot. Like, stuff Batman would keep in his, in his Batcave. Like, like, stuff like that. Like, that could be Riddler 2, where he's, like, the scheme, like, he's, like, the, uh, one can be the schemer. Like, that's the dapper one. The second one can be the, uh, the puzzler who can more or less, he's the one who makes all the elaborate, like, traps and whatnot. And the third one is, uh, is the punchline. And that one is the dumb, like, I'm the Riddler who always shows up and does all the lame-ass shit. Like, that's the scapegoat Riddler. Like, that's the Riddler the other two make fun of, because he's, while he's smart, he's not as, he's nowhere near the, as smart as the other two. And when the two want to do, like, some grandiose scheme to throw Batman off, they just throw him out there to do it. Like, they just throw him out out there to do, like, these really mundane, dumb riddles that, like, throw Batman off while they're off doing something else. Like, something like that would be... I think that would be really fun to do. Um, I think that would be, like... It makes more sense. Like, because the whole thing about Joker is that you have to keep that mystique with Joker. You really have to keep that level of mystique with him. Or it's just, like... It's not fun anymore, you know, pun intended. It's just, it's not a, it's, it's just a bad joke now. With Riddler, I think that people would be more palatable at the thought of Riddler being multiple Riddlers. Because again, Edigma, that, like, obviously, that would be a Riddler of itself. Riddler, like, that would, like, that would really showcase what a lot of people in comics kind of really complain about with why there's not a lot of good Riddler stories is because there aren't a lot of writers who feel like they're up to the task to writing a Riddler story. Because they don't feel like they have to make... They like they either overcomplicate it, or they just make it really dumb. They just want to write the Riddler for... You know, because it's the Riddler. That's the thing I think would be really cool with this three Riddlers thing, is be like, holy shit, Riddler's just been trolling us the whole time. Like, that would be so cool! Like, to have that moment where... Um, Rid like that there's that big reveal where there's three riddlers and it's like dear batman have you it, like <laughs> what's the matter batman can't think of the answer like like literally like that would be so cool is to have like and it would like i think it'd also be more palatable for people to be like oh i can buy there's three riddlers whereas there's three jokers it's like what the fuck was even the point that's my whole answer to the book but like it was so underplayed. It was like, what was even the point? But now, with Riddler, you could literally do... If you do three Riddlers, you could literally just have them, like, tag in and tag out the whole time. And Batman would be like, so which one are you? And he's like, does it... And the Riddler can just be like, I'm, e Nig I'm Edward Nigma, Batman. You have to figure it out. So that would be kind of a fun... I think that would be a really fun way to go with Batman. Um... Because Riddler would literally, like, that would be, like, that would so get under Bruce's skin. Like, think about it. Like, that would just get so under Bruce's skin on such a level. It was like, of all the motherfuckers who, who's who been, like, playing at me, Riddler's been literally laughing in my face every time I chuck his ass into Arkham. Like, he's literally been laughing in my face the entire time because he's, I've never figured it out. And... Like, yeah, you could have Batman now, like, going out to figure out who the three Riddlers really are. Like, that would be really cool is to figure... Like, that would be a cool detective story, and maybe that, that would be a cool story. That would be just a neat way to have a cool backstory. Because even, like, you could say, like, oh, but Riddler has, like, a backstory. Well, to that I say retcons and here's where i think a retcon would be palatable because you could have you could do another and dc's been notable for doing retconned origins but you could literally do a, a you could literally go back to riddler's backstory and look at it like they retell it and show all the clues of how riddler became uh, how there became three riddlers of uh, basically having the three riddlers splice together their story into one backstory and it's now like you go back and like, okay, so which Riddler was this that this part of the backstory is a part of? That would be fucking great, wouldn't it? Like, that makes so much more sense. You're literally, you now have reread value for every Riddler book going back. Like, to the puzzle, to the, uh, to the Riddle Factory, to, you know, Riddle of the Sphinx, to all of them. 
Literally. And you could say, well, what about that time Riddler became a superhero? Yeah, well, when he became a good guy. You could say, yeah, one of the Riddlers did that, and the other two were like, fuck you, man. <laughs> so, yeah, you could have it, like, in that time frame, the other two Riddlers just fucked off. Like, they were like, what the fuck was even the point? But again, DC has a not is noticeable for, you know, uh, retcon and continuity, so you don't even have to include that these days, really. Because, for well, continuity, DC tells that to fuck off on a re regular basis. So there you go, guys. Um, like I said, this is just a random video because I'm still coming off the hype of how good the Batman was. And again, if you would like to see my review on the Batman, just hit the link below and head on over to my Patreon, where if you do, you can, and if you hit the fourth tier, you can not only get the exclusive content on there, like the other videos, the tech, uh, the, uh, the polls I do on there, uh, all the other stuff, and the movie reviews, but you can also send me a request to do here on YouTube to do for you. But other than that, um, once again, yeah, just comment below, let me know what you guys thought of this. This is just a random thought I had, and I'm really curious to see what you guys have to say about this one. Other than that, I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the multiverse.